Well, hello there, friends, and welcome to another Let's Build Newcrest. <laughs> that was very dramatic, wasn't it? Very dramatic reading from me. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Welcome. Welcome to Count Back to Council Block. Um, I called it Council Towers last time. I kind of liked that name, but this isn't a tower. It's more of a block, so we're going to stick with Council Block. A little, a few things have changed. You guys were saying about moving the bins down to this way, which, yeah, it kind of makes sense, actually. Easy access for the bin men and whatnot. You can see I've put some skanky rubbish pieces around there as well. It's just always good. Um, I didn't change a whole lot from last time. You can obviously see that I did go for and change the um, wallpapers. Just put in a bit of concrete detail in on the wall area. It just brought the build to life a little bit better. It really did. And I very much enjoyed it. Very much. I've had a few people ask to like sort of lift the build up with stairs and stuff. And I, I do kind of like, I like that idea. Especially with, obviously these are, then they're balconies, but they are kind of outside space. And you do get this in the UK, especially on places that are limited without outside space like this. It's just little warden areas. It doesn't necessarily have to be a balcony. And I do like that idea, but we're not going to do it, I'm afraid. Not for this build. Um, it just overcomplicates matters that doesn't really need overcomplicating. And what else have I changed? Oh, on the insides as well, you guys pointed out that the stairs could be the opposite way, which, duh, they really could have. So that's what I've been and gone and done. We've also swapped the stairs for the concrete ones all the way up now as well. It just fits in with the aesthetics. And then up on the top level, you can see I've kind of mezzanined the top level off just so that it's this big kind of walkway. Um, and everything is just bare concrete. And also door-wise, you guys were on about the doors from university. They These were the ones that match the best as what I could. Main reasons being, every this door comes in like lots of swatches, but they've all got like sort of like those things on the back of them. Um, and this was the only one that kind of had like a kind of maybe this can be their like fire escape or something um or fire plan um so yeah we went for those stores instead and another person mentioned the city living ones i had them in my head but they don't look like the doors that would house or would be in these kind of buildings they really don't so i didn't want to use them but i as always thank you for your help and thank you for your um yeah input i really appreciate it so today we're going to be carrying on with the outside areas. We'll do the kids' play area. We'll do the basketball um, court. Um, and we're going to detail a few of these garages as well. I have pulled the garages out one more just to make them a little bit long. And there were people in the comments a bit worried that cars weren't going to fit in them. I, won't, I wasn't really building them to make cars fit in them. I was building them just to kind of make it look like cars could fit there. It's just what you would see in this kind of area. It doesn't really matter that they couldn't be usable because cars are not usable. So it doesn't really make sense. Um, but I have put access onto the back to each and every one. So I will put a couple of cars in. But I was thinking this one I could make into like a teen hangout. A place where they all come and drink and maybe get high or something. You know, what kids are up to these days. Um, I thought that would be really cool. So we'll probably pick this one here and do like a teen hangout. I think that would be a really cool idea. Um, and obviously we're going to be decorating the not much though because they're never really like heavily decorated but all of the at like the outside of the apartments like the entrance hall and then obviously the back garden as well um, and I might just detail a few of the balconies up as well just to like put a few objects here and there but then that could change depending on who's moving into each one and whatnot and also this one here I've actually widened the entrance here and shortened down the bathroom because in my head there's a one of the characters that I've created is disabled. So I do want this to be a kind of disabled friendly flat because with council houses, they do get given to people with disabilities and stuff. So I thought that having that would kind of be a bit more realistic and then we can bring the guy who's going to be living in here. Um, yeah. I won't say who it is though because I don't want to spoil the fun. Do not want to spoil the fun, but he's lovely. He's a lovely man. Um, and we've got a cool family moving in there as well. But yes, very good. Okay, right. So, let's start right off this end. I think what we should do is get a few details on the garage 
themselves, the garages themselves. So I'm thinking of, I'm, there's that like, there's that graffiti mural, but it's not, I don't think it's from, oh, maybe I know what it's from. It just came into my head, not to get together, get famous. Yes, no, yes, 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 that's better. Oh, that's, that's the girl right there. That's going to be too big, isn't it? Oh, you absolute little shit. Oh, well. That's better. I was just getting a bit bored of the ones from, um, from Get Together. I get, I get a bit bored of using them, so it's nice to have a few different ones here. Um, that was pretty cool, but it doesn't look like it would fit in. Not many of them do look like they would fit in. That one is quite similar to that one. So maybe I will go for that one that we didn't like in the beginning and i'll just flop that just there like that yeah i do think this needs a few cracks shall we say just going through it just to like make it look a little bit more worn and aged and whatnot um yeah we can put it straight through because the graffiti will sit over the top it is glitching a bit but we can't see that it's fine we're moving on on to the next bits um yeah that would be very cool do you see what I mean? That's just bought it a bit of personality now. Like, not much, but it has. It's done what I wanted it to. Maybe in here, we can put those, like, horrible, like, stinky um, looking things like this. Yeah, and, like, the dark brown, just so it looks a little bit murky and a little bit stinky in here, which is what we need because it is the bin shed. Oh, this is where Carly first met. No, first had relations with Gaz. She got fingered behind the bins. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> for a packet of walkers prawn no, for a packet of prawn cocktail walkers. Hysterical. <laughs> uh, Just reminds me of Little Britain now. If anybody's watched Little Britain, I'd like to hear you in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the storyline and we're sticking to it. We are. So yeah, there doesn't need to be massive amounts of detail in there. I think I will put a light in. Um, in my head, it would be like... I know the light I've got in my head, actually. This wall light. Um, I think it might be in the outside lights. Ah. Oh, hmm. Where are you, then? It's that base game, like, pool light. Oh, there we go. Yeah, like this. In a black. Just one there. Let me just see what that light that gives in the night. In the night time. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I thought that lit a bit more than that. I really did. So maybe I'll have to add in a few. Maybe I could put in three. I'll do one down there, one there, and then one just at the end. Yeah, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. I've really thought that light gave off a lot more light than that, but obviously not. Obviously not. No. Okay. Okay. And I maybe just a little bit of ivy on this would look good. Nothing too, like, decorative but just something again to give it just that little that little touch touch of realism and uh yeah maybe just something like that and then i'll mix it up with a little bit of greenery in there oh what about you in there yes yeah just something like this again just to make it look like it's been grown away and i might actually get rid of those two they can't really walk on the grass it doesn't matter shh shush you are not my real mom as i've said before uh yeah we'll do that and i'm gonna terrain paint just underneath of it as well just underneath um uh yeah i hope you've all had a good start to the weekend my loves i really do i'm gonna be taking the dog on a nice walk after this my allowed outing of the day uh the so me and me other half are gonna take him for a nice walk and then last night i was playing portal 2 with my nephew uh that was fun that was fun i forgot that game though my nephew was like putting me putting me through the paces <laughs> i was just like i have no idea what i'm doing but i'm going to do it anyway and then we've both got we've both got um halo the master chief edition which is like all of the halos combined into one game so tomorrow night, we're going to be plowing our way through that, which is going to be fun. I can't wait. 
That's going to be some nostalgia right there, my loves. We'll put a couple of these vents up just on top of the roof of the garages. Yeah. Just to like get rid of any exhaust fumes or whatnot. Maybe not there. We'll get it off with a bin one. Okay. Okay. And you'd be pleased to know I did put the outs at the inside doors on this time as well. Uh, you'd be pleased to know. I think you're very pleased to know, actually. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I am getting a lights. I uh, these lights in a dark color. Lovely. We'll just put one there, one there, one there. And I will stick a couple of cars in now. I'm debating whether they're going to fit or not. I still don't think they'll fit. But we're going to try it anyway. And if not, I'll just size them down. And it gives the illusion of them being a garage. <laughs> but I'm sure there are some smaller cars. that Yeah, they're not going to fit in here. But there are tiny cars. If I remember rightly. They're those little like, box ones. Like, yeah, like these. Oh, no, they're still very hefty. I'll size it down. And then it just gives the illusion. Gives the illusion of a car. A garage. Um, and we'll, we'll pop them both that way. Yes, they won't be able to get in through the door. But. Hey. It's fine. Okay, that's fine. Yes. Yes, that's fine. And then obviously this is going to be the teen hangout. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. I want to start detailing over this side a bit more now, just so we're pushing the detail all the way through. Um, Lightwise, I think we're going to use the same lamps as what we used on the, this kind of street. Ah, I've just thought I didn't put those lamps on that build, which is a bit of an annoyance to me now. I should have thought about that. I'll go back and do that before I release the save file. Um... So I do need to get a few of those lamps here. That's for sure. That is for sure. It's for certain. It's for certain. And we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Um, In that tone as well. We'll do one there. I think I'll do three along on this. And then I'll do one on the corner there. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I'm going to put one in here as well. Just to like bring in... What do you mean you can't be cloned? There we go. I think I'll do... Maybe not there. It needs to be kind of... Oh, I suppose it looks okay going into the fence. I will pull it out just... In fact... Yeah, I'll just pull it out just slightly. There we go. Yes. Let's see what kind of light that gives off at night. Not too bad. I mean, it's still pitch black. But we're going to go with it. I might actually put a couple more in just to the sides here. Like to the side of the build. I think it would look pretty realistic. These street lamps coming through. Let's have a look. Let me have a little goosey step back moment. Um, In fact, I think I'm going to I'm gonna whiffle it this way. Whiffle. And then I'll whittle you that way as well, my love. Come here. You're getting whittled. Oh, it's going to cut in too much. So I'll put it just to the side of it there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That gives me what I need. Okay, so basketball court. Nothing much needs to go here. Probably a bin and a couple of benches. Um, And maybe... Uh, I would like some, like... <gasps> Oh, we've got that graffiti thing, haven't we? Well, how big is that? How big is that? I know that's from City Living, but I cannot remember. I think it's quite large, actually. It's that thing you put on the floor and they can come in and graffiti it. Um, If I can find it. Is it it's not in rugs, is it? No. Hmm. Hmm. There it is. Oh, it's not too bad. I might actually put this, like, here. And then there's another, like, uh, activity that they can come in and do in here. They can kind of graffiti and play around with the floor there. Yeah, I like that idea. I do. I do absolutely like it. And I think we'll do a bench either side here and then maybe just a bin on this side. But I want the benches to look like they've been graffitied and I don't think we've got anything like that. I know we've got that 
um, bench that I used in Newcrest Promenade. You know the one I mean? Um, is it in here or is it in Weirdly in Sofas or something? I think it's Weirdly in Sofas. Let me just go and get that. I'm going to go and grab it. Yeah, this is the one I mean. So we can get a couple of these in. That swatch is fine. I don't think we're going to get another. I mean, that one's not too bad as well. Uh, it's a bit too safe. That one's not right. That one's not right. Nope. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll stick with that one then. Yeah. Just to look like they've been graffitied up and messed around with by the kids. By the kids. And then I'm going to put a nice bin here as well. This one. Oh, that's very 80s, that. I can imagine this being in like a 80s like shopping like centre, if you know what I mean. In the UK. Very brutalist bin, that. And that's what I got this cement in for. I wanted to kind of just bring a bit of that brutalist look into it. So yeah, this definitely needs to be lit up. I'm just, I wish we had like floodlights. I would love like proper looking floodlights. That could be so cool. I mean, we could make something look like floodlights. Let's have a look. Because I know we've got a few things that we could play around with. Like this, for example. Oh God, no, that's on wheels. Um, I mean... Definitely not that. I mean, these would, but they just look stupid if I put them up. I mean, they do look like floodlights, but no. No, we'll just stick with a, we'll just stick with an outdoor light. Like a, I mean, I could use them again, really. Yeah, we may as well. I'll just flop one of these over into each corner. Ugh, I don't really like it. I don't really like it in there. You know, when you just can just see something not working. That was that moment. That was that moment. That was that moment I forever knew. <laughs> Aiden, shut up. Shush. Um, nothing's going to work for the aesthetics that I want. I can, I can, I just know it won't because Sims. Because Sims. So. I think I'm going to leave that for the minute and come back to it. I'll come back to that. Right, let's get down to this level. And this is going to be the little kiddies play area. So the gate's there. Wondering if the climbing frame would fit in that space. Because if it would, I would be very happy. Let's find out, shall we? Yes. So, no. Oh, I need to go into the actual category this way, I think. Kids. And then it's in this one, I think. Yeah. Oh, damn you. No, they won't be able to play on that. It's much bigger than what I thought it was. I get why it needs to be big. I mean, I could put it in that orientation. But I do want to try and get like a... One of the play things in as well. Christ, it's massive. Or I could do a toddler one. Oh, which is just as big. But that kind of fits perfectly like that. Um. Hmm. It definitely needs to have children and toddlers though. I wish like both the toddlers and children could use these. It would make my life much easier. I mean, this is just too big. It's too large for the play area that I want anyway. Far too large, darling. And I'm not going to reduce the size of the I mean, make the park bigger because this flow is... I'm working with it nicely. Oh, for Christ. Swings. Swings it is. Um, What does that come under again? Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, we'll put a couple of swings in instead. And maybe a toddler slide. So it has got things for toddlers and for children. Okay, what colour theme are we going to go for here? It needs to be quite bright because they do normally have quite a fun bright uh, aesthetic to them shall we say so maybe yellow because of the black seats it's going to match the floor nicely i'll push the swings right in there is that going to give me enough room there let me have a little look 
it they should be okay we'll play a test that though just to make sure um and then i'm gonna put a toddler slide in i don't know how but we're gonna squeeze one right in um i can't see you there you are and that color's working just to have a little cycle through yeah i think it's gonna be this one then so i think what i'll do is put the slide there and then put the entrance on this side and maybe just shuffle this one forward one now just so it's not right up against it and i'm going to change the color of that now now that we've got a bit of bright brighter colors in i'll go for the yellow there as well yes that's working that's working that is needs a little parental bench up there and a bin as well in this area um i'm wondering whether to turn this like just to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and doing a diagonal moment yeah that's better that's better yeah okay and then obviously another bench we'll do just a we won't do like a graffiti one over here we'll just do a normal ass bench like this um but maybe in a uh, maybe or should we do like a like a cementy looking one yeah i think i'm gonna do this one i know it's bigger than this one but i'm just gonna tuck it behind in this area anyway so it doesn't matter too much yeah that's better and again with the bin uh do we have we got any fun bins just like you know like a bin that would look fun for children i know this one comes in like a bright color no i don't think we have so maybe we'll just stick with this yeah yeah it's fine absolutely fine ah yeah, that's a cute little play area for the for the children. For the children. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Um, We need mailboxes. But I'm thinking about just you doing the apartment mailboxes. Maybe like here. Can you put them on the inside? Yeah, you can because they go inside the apartment. Well, we're going to test this um apartment mailbox if you will there we are stunning can you do more than i'm gonna do three in fact i could do six couldn't i really i know this doesn't make sense because the door could squash that but you know sims once again it's not real life i'm gonna move them just closer though for that reason and then these can be where all the letters get stored, which is what usually happens in the UK. Like if the, you're in a block of flats or an apartment block, um, you normally got like a little area where you can come down and get your mail and stuff from. That is not um, equal on either side. And I know someone would cry if I left that like that. But do you know what? They just have bad builders. Sorry, there's nothing I can do. There is nothing I can do. It is totally out of my hands, that. Totally out of my hands. Okay. Um, Here, I'm going to do like an outside rug moment. Like I don't like to wipe your feet on. But I'm actually going to make it myself, I think. um, Because I, I want to make it a little bit bigger. So I think I'll use this in a, in a brune. <laughs> every, I laugh at every time I say that now because... I've had so many Scandies. Those lovely people from Scandinavia um, laugh and say that that's... Was it, was it Swedish for brown? Or was it Norwegian? I can't remember. I can't remember for the life of me. And then I'm going to do like a... I'm wondering if they've got anything... Oh, like this. That's perfect. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like one of those really rough mats that get all of the crap off your shoe. Quite literally. I'm wondering if I should just do a two one though. Yeah, we'll just do a two one. That was a bit excessive. I got a bit excited about my rug. So we'll do it like that. And I'm going to put that on the inside as well. Because you, do you know why? Because I can. Because I can. And then we'll use that fence for window shopping. Just through there like that. Oh, that's stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Okay, right, there needs to be a light up above here. 
A light up above here. And we need to do like a... It would have been better. To, we'll do it around the side here. But like a... Almost something that looks like you could like... Buzz the flats to let you in. So we'll do that. Um, Right. We need a light. Light. Light cameras action. So... Excuse me. Why do I like nearly burp in every single video? One day I'm just going to like be like... Bleh! No. I will not do that. I'm a... I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just see. I need to get into night mode just to see the... Yes. Yeah, like that. Just above the door there. Just above the door. Yeah, and that's as much light as I want out here. I know it seems like it's not like lit very well, but this is kind of realistic. Especially where I'm from. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm here for it. 100% utterly here for it um what can we use to make it look like the kind of bell thingy i've got something in my mind that plaque with all of the separate like little bits on do you know what i mean um i'm sure it's base game it might not be but i'm sure of it that it is uh please don't oh i, I want you out for a start you need to come we need to put pop you in a place. There we go. Um, and the same with that exit sign as well. Uh, we'll find that in a minute. We'll find that in a minute. Now that I just saw it, right there. So we'll put one there, and then one over there. There we go. Um, yes, that plaque. I'm gonna find it. Give me one squiffy. Oh, it's right there. So I don't need to. Oh, it's got a star on it, though. Does it come in any other colours? That one there would probably... That one there looks the best. And then for the... I'll put a light here as well. I'll put a nice light next to it. Maybe something like that that I've used for the doorbells. Just right next to it. So that can act as the kind of speakerphone thingy. Yeah. I mean, this would be on this side, really. But, hey, it's there. We do need a camera as well, though. We need a security camera on the outside. But I think this is like one of the most expensive things. It's right down here. And I'll put it in a, a dark color. There we go. I'll put it right there. A bit of CCTV. We'll just keep it as that. Maybe they had cameras on these, but the kids got rid of them. With a, with a hefty stone or two. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right, we're coming behind here. Let's see if we can get better lighting back here. Not really. I mean, I still think the evening light lighting is the most suitable for this. So, I do want to do a few little planter pots with just some, like, flowers in. Um, I do. I do want entrance from some of these balconies as well. Someone's told me to size down the washing line. Um, That came with... I think it came with Jungle Adventure. We're going to have a little look at that, actually. Let me go and find it. One second. So that took a long time to find because I was looking um, for Jungle Adventure and it was actually in Island Living. I thought this object was in Jungle Adventure. And now I'm not even sure if this is going to fit. <laughs> so I might even have to size it down and like lift it up. That's the tiniest pair of shorts I've ever seen. But just pretend that it is um, for a toddler. I'm going to put them up in the front, actually. I know that's inside the house, but we're going to make this work. We're going to make this work. We're going to fit this in somewhere. Is that going to be too high? Yeah, that's too high now. I'm going to bring it just down a touch. I just want this for the look. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, that looks really cool. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I might use two. I might do it twice, but then that's going to be repetitive. What about if I turn it the other way? No, that's the same. Oh, it's got a bra on that one. Filth. Filthy. Uh, I will do one up here. And then I'm going to lift it up again. Just like so. Just like that, darling. Yes, those jeans are flopping over, but... Oh, yes, that's giving me the vibe. Which I want. Yes. 
I used to live in a block of apartments and we were never allowed to put a washing out on the balconies. We used to get like written to by the management, like the, you know, the like area management. They were such twats. I really hated them so much. Absolutely, they were always on our case about something that we weren't doing right. That probably Sharon from next door was saying about those gays again, having loud parties. Just because you haven't got a life, Sharon, doesn't mean that we don't. <laughs> Still bitter about that place. <laughs> okay. So, yes. Yeah. So, we, I'm going to put another couple of benches here. And we're going to go for nice kind of park-esque benches. Uh, like this. Oh, maybe a bit more like that. Let's have a look at you first. Don't you come in like a darker... Yeah, like that. That's perfect. One there one there now there would be a sign somewhere around here saying like no ball games see they didn't even like gays here did they all these areas that you could have to play with some balls and you're not allowed <laughs> um so i'm gonna find a ball sign i think maybe the one from um get to work definitely we're definitely having a couple of drag queens who live here as well. I definitely want that. That is happening. That is happening. Um, yeah, like yeah, like this. No ball games. We'll plonk that there. No ball games. Okay. Now, do I? I might extend this out now. Now that I've done that lip there, I think that it only needs that area anyway. And then this gives this a little bit more room here. But I was thinking about putting another fence up here too. Like, um, just a normal, like, plain wooden fence. Maybe a bit lighter than that. But look. I mean, not that tone, so maybe going for the dark. Yeah, that's better. And then just doing it there same there and then it gets rid of all of your wallpapers once again love it i love it i love that i love that i've just put that there as well love it uh, absolutely love it <laughs> okay so it's on the other side there we go so is it just yeah it only got rid of the frontal region okay yeah that's better i mean they oh will they be able to get in there and put the washing on though Oh, hopefully, 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 hopefully. Um, and we're going to just decorate this area a little bit. I'm, in fact, I'm going to do the soil. Like, is that a weird soil? No, that's fine. We'll do that all the way along here. I've done so much terrain painting today with my speed build. That like, that legend of the speed build that I've got coming. <laughs> it's turned into like a myth now. But, um... Yeah, I've done so much train painting. So much. And then here, oh, we're going to get down to that level. Here, I'm just going to plonk a few of this around. The kind of broken grass one. Again, to make it look like it's been used. There's been some traffic. That might be a little bit too harsh. There we go. There's been some traffic with this while they're hanging their smalls out. That's a tight squeeze there very tight i just like the look of it though i like the way it separates off that area i'm gonna keep it for the meantime keep it for the meantime hopefully they'll be able to use it i doubt it but we'll try we'll try and under the fence as well we'll do it all the way under the fence lovely and then all the way along here just to, just to make it look they've had a bit of foot traffic my loves a bit of foot traffic a bit of foot traffic and we're going to do another bin. I'm going to do a bin right by the door here. Down there. Lovely. And they do need a little bit of lighting out the back here. But what I might do for that is just bring a few of these street lamps around. And just face them inwards, maybe. Uh, I kind of want them to face the other way. And then it's just defeating the object of having lights there, isn't it? So... We'll put a door light anyway. I'm going to put... Oh, I have. I've put that one. 
let's get let's have a look at the lighting up back here uh yeah it's very dark it's very dark darlings and i know you're all looking at thinking why isn't he using any of these it's because it wouldn't fit in with this build it wouldn't fit in with the aesthetic of the build anything like this it needs to be kind of 60s 70s 80s if you know what i mean like this street lamps i'm just going to use these <laughs> bugger it it's happening we're doing it yeah that's better yeah yeah that's what i wanted okay right and to finish off we're gonna do the um the teen hangout area but that's just got a lot more detail in there now. Just for what I needed. Just for what I needed. Um, uh, How long have we got here? Yeah, we're going on a bit long. So what I'm going to do is... We don't really need to put anything much more in there anyway. I've kind of put that in a weird place though. I don't like that there. Maybe that needs to go... Oh, the only places I can really put it without blocking... Is like next to here. They're all very large though, aren't they? Maybe we'll do two of these. We'll do two of these. And if you can imagine the slight smell of we. Um, and you've got this area down to a T. Okay, so teen hangout. Teen hangout. They would have like boxes to sit on. I don't think we've got any boxes to sit on. Have we? It's a shame. I'd like some like uh other kind of seating like some weird seating i really would comfort we'll go into here um nope that's not gonna cut it so we'll go to these seats as well oh these fold a couple of these fold out ones would work in some quite weird colors yep we'll use that and not the blue maybe just the white and then I'll stack a couple of these up in the corner. All in white as well. There we go. Two. And then one, two, three. Oh, three. There we go. Stacked a few of them up. Okay. We need some bottles of alcohol going here. Um, And maybe another spray. Oh, I could get that thing that I had. Can I do this indoors? Oh, it's too big. Oh, that would have been perfect. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. I would have liked to have... I would have liked to have seen that. Oh, well. What I'll do instead is put some more of this graffiti up in here. But we'll use a different one. Yeah, we'll use that one. Is that the same one as that one? No, it's just very similar. Oh, no. I think it is the same one. No, it's not. It's just very similar. Trust your instincts, Aiden. Yeah, I'll put that there instead. Okay. Um, I'm going to get a couple of those uh, side tables that look like crates. I'm looking in the wrong place. Yeah, like this. Not in that tone, though. Like, there we go. We'll put one there. And I'll put one just by the chairs that are here as well to act as a table. Maybe I'll put a small TV in here, actually. I'll put a small TV in here. So it, they would have plug sockets and stuff in them as well. Um, yeah, just like with this one. There we go. There we go. So we've got a small little like hangout area. Maybe a, a ghetto blaster. <laughs> Showing my age with saying that. A little ghetto blaster down there as well. Lovely. In fact, we'll put you there. Put you to the side there, love. How dare you? There you go. Lovely. Okay. Um, I do want to make the floor look a little bit mank. Oh, newspapers. Yes. Yeah, we'll get a couple of these in. Maybe just like there. Yes. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, a couple of these as well. There we go. In fact, we'll just put one of them in. That's, that's a really good object. I always forget about that. Always forget about it. Oh, shit, the bed. I forgot about this as well. Shit, the bed. Yes. Just to make it look extra moist and damp in here. We'll go for that. That Excuse you. Thank you. There we go. That one. Yes. Okay. And we're going to get 
Um, I think they're being debug. Let me go and grab some stuff from debug. Give me two, two jiffies. Okay, so we, I've grabbed a few things out of debug, uh, including some trash, because I am trash myself, so I would like to be represented in this build. Um, obviously, a lot of these little drinkies will plonk these around the uh, chairs themselves. Just They look like they've had a, been having a whale of a time. We'll flop all these around. Just grabbed a few random pieces, really, just to make it look a little bit more. These are acting as kind of the spray paint. Oh, spray cans. I don't know what you would call them. I think there is an actual spray can in the game, but I just can't find it. Um, and this object. I don't know why I thought this object fit in here, but it does. So we're going to go with it. But And I also pulled out this weird syringy thing just to make it look like they'd done naughty things in here. But who am I to judge? We can't judge. Yeah, and I think even though we are on the inside here, I'm going to put a wheelie bin in here. Just because we all, they need a place to have relations. <laughs> they're getting pumped upon the wheelie bin is where um, they're going to go. <laughs> but yeah, that's just a little, like, cool little hangout area. I think that looks pretty cool. I think what we'll leave on as well, I did forget to get them out, is just a couple of planters. Um, and I'll stick some, just some flowers in them just to make it look like they've started growing some pieces out here but not any of that naughty business that Gaz is up to just some nice flowers yeah we'll just do three that will be fine that will be fine it will be it will be fine um and a nice bit of flowerage yeah just like this i might size you down actually and just lift you up one lovely and i'll do the same with a pink one Oh, that looks fine like that, actually. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be one of the uh, residents in here who come out and water the flowers. One of the older residents that I'm going to have removing in. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I think that's cool. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. That is predominantly the detail that I want on the outside of this lot anyway. I think it's just bought a bit more personality, a bit more life. Let's get some better light in. There we go. Yeah, that's better. That's a bit of game. A bit more personality. You can't see the graffiti behind me, but... Do you know what I mean? It's just gave it a little bit of personality now, isn't it? So, tomorrow. Next time. How we're going to do this. We're going to separate... Uh, I'm going to try and maybe do two apartments. Uh, that's probably a bit too much, actually. Maybe I will just stick. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here, if you, if you don't notice. That's how I tend to get most things done. Um... I think we'll leave an episode per apartment. That could be really fun. And then all this week, every day, I'll bring out an episode of each apartment getting built. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the Sims. And then I'm going to introduce you to the Sims. And then go and make that apartment for them. I'm going to do it that way. I've had a few people ask me about doing Cass. And then uh, creating the apartment but i think what i'm gonna i'm gonna try and get that format into my next let's build so when we start on glimmerbrook i'm gonna start doing it that way so when we build a house we'll go in and create the sims and then we'll go um i don't think i'm gonna do it for let's build new crest but i really love that idea i really do and then we can make up stories and stuff from then that'd be really funny uh but yeah i will be back tomorrow my loves i will be back tomorrow um creating the first apartment a first flat, sorry, for the first person moving in. And we'll get some funny storylines going. I think that is the ticket right there. It is. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. Uh, stay safe and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.